name is Leigh McDonald and I am currently working for nascent research experience for undergrads. My project is fabricating heterostructures using transitional metal dichalcogenides, such as MOSE2 and WSE2. In order to create a heterostructure, you need to achieve monolayer with each of your TMDs. To achieve monolayer, you take a small amount of bulk, place it on blue clean room tape, and exfoliate simply by separating it layer by layer. Like this. Once you have gone under multiple exfoliations, your blue tape will look something like this. The entire area of the blue tape will be covered in flakes of your TMD. In order to transfer the flakes onto your silicon silicon oxide wafer, simply take the silicon silicon oxide wafer, place it on top of the blue tape, and tap each of the four corners. Then remove the silicon silicon oxide wafer. I have now placed my silicon silicon oxide wafer onto the blue tape. I will now tap each of the four corners to ensure that my flakes adhere to the wafer. Then I will remove it. Next step is heterostructure fabrication. Using our micro manipulator, we can use the microscope to observe which flake we want to pick up, use this sharp tungsten tip to lift off the WSE2 flake and place it on top of our MOSE2 flake. Next, upload your exfoliated sample underneath the optical microscope. This is the next step in determining whether you achieve monolayer. We use this in order to observe the brightness contrast. The brighter the flake, the thicker the flake. Here, monolayer appears to almost be a shadow. The next step in characterizing our flake is using the atomic force microscope. After you've uploaded your sample, the machine will use a very sharp tip to move over the flake and determine vertical thickness. This vertical thickness is very helpful in order to understand whether or not we've exfoliated to monolayer. The next step in characterizing our flake is by using the Raman tool. Here, I have uploaded my sample into the chamber. This tool works based on the principles of Raman spectroscopy. These peaks help give us a fingerprint of the material loaded, which in our case should be MOSE2, and help identify how thick the material is by giving us a fingerprint of each individual layer. The next step in characterizing our flake is by using the same machine, but changing our settings to photoluminescence. The photoluminescence test will give us information about the band gap, which in turn will allow us to understand whether or not we've exfoliated to monolayer.